Let's take a look at every Premier League club and each team's player who's been out on loan this season and struggled the most, which is effectively a death sentence for their future at the parent club, Arsenal Callum Chambers. Remember when Callum Chambers was hailed as the next big thing and another piece of excellence wheeled off the Southampton production line? Nowadays, the Saints are probably trying to airbrush him out of the Alumni Hall of Fame. If anyone saw the way he defended this season, his youth coaches would probably be dragged up on some sort of charges. Whether he's been playing defence or midfield, Chambers has done nothing to stop Fulham being slapped around the place all season. And you'd have to think Arsenal will be getting rid of him in the summer. Mind you, I thought that about Carl Jenkinson after losing 8-2 at Old Trafford. Eight years later, he's still f***ing there. Bournemouth, Jermaine Defoe. Okay, this one might be a bit harsh because at the end of the day, Jermaine Defoe has continued to score goals up in Scotland. Then again, my elderly next door neighbour will probably bag a few in that league and she's been dead for 10 years and eaten by her cats. When Defoe linked up with Rangers in January, people assumed he'd win them the league on his own, scoring hat-tricks every week. Nah, instead he's been largely benched and reduced to the role of an impact player, with Rangers falling out of the title race completely. Six goals and 15 appearances. I'd have expected better. Brighton, Ben Hall. I don't know much about Ben Hall, but he's a 22-year-old defender who is struggling to make the team in Notts County, so I'd say it hasn't been a great season for him. Burnley, John Walters. As an Irishman, I love John Walters, but his career came to an absolute thud this season. With injuries having ruined his time at Burnley, he was tossed back to Ipswich on loan for one last hurrah to basically see if he could get his body to work. He couldn't play three times and watch his old club get ripped apart every week under the managerial genius that is Paul Lambert before chucking it all in and retiring last month. So as far as loan deals to rehabilitate your career go, I say that was pretty catatonic for all concerned. Cardiff City, Omar Boggle. Omar Boggle is doing alright at Portsmouth alone, but it was at Birmingham where he really struggled. With the Blues front two doing the business, centre forward Omar Bogle spent most of his four months stuck on the bench, scoring just once in 15 games. Chelsea, Kennedy. I don't know who or what is at Newcastle this season, but I sure as hell isn't the Kennedy from last season. That one, in his first loan spell on Tyneside, it looked exciting, fast, and an actual threat to Premier League defences. Newcastle fans were even talking about paying a club record fee for him. And again, at the time, Newcastle's club record fee was probably what Paul Pogba makes in brand deals. After missing a penalty against Cardiff in August, in a game where he lost the ball time and time again, the Brazilian's confidence has plummeted, and now the unknown Chelsea man is doing well to even make it into a matchday squad. His time in England is surely done. I'd say his next step would be China, but... Well, well, maybe not. Crystal Palace, Jason Punchin. I'm not sure what Huddersfield were thinking when they decided that their mid-season marquee signing was going to be Jason Punchin. The man is 32 and clearly cannot get around the park like he used to. He's played five times for Huddersfield, looked shocking in every one, and just added another relegation to the CV. Everton, Yannick Bellassi. It was less than three years ago Everton paid 30 million quid for Yannick Bellassi, which is essentially like tossing your wallet in a goddamn bin. He's doing alright on loan at Anderlecht, but his loan spell Aston Villa pre-Christmas was pretty miserable. Two goals in 21 games, no real impact. Back, and by the end, Villa were practically begging Everton to take him back. Fulham, Abukabar Kamara. It takes a special type of terrible to not get into this Fulham team, but yeah. Abukabar Kamara, that lad who stole a penalty and got arrested, is now out on loan at Yeni Maliataspor in Turkey. Huddersfield Town, Rajiv Van Lepara. To be fair, Rajiv Van Lepara should probably never have been given to Middlesbrough on loan. One of Jorginho Vinaldo's brothers, Van Lepara is not going to enjoy any sort of similar success this season. Tony Poulos eventually grew tired of his back problems and tossed him back to Huddersfield last week. Leicester City, Islam Slomani. Remember when Islam Slomani could not only play football but was actually supposed to be pretty damn good? He seemed to be linked to the £20 million move to Spurs every transfer window. Mind you, so did Saido Berahino, a man who seems far more interested in burying his face in a tin of Jaffa cakes. After failing on loan at Newcastle last season, Slomani now has one league goal and 14 appearances for Fenerbahce. That's pretty appalling for a man who once bagged over 30 in a season for Sporting Lisbon. Liverpool, Lloris Carayas. Uh, good Christ, this man just can't catch a break. Seemingly can't catch a ball either. Just a year ago, Lloris Carayas was winning a Champions League semi-final. Nowadays, he's considered one of the worst, most painful stains in in that club's history, and he's no longer wanted a Besiktas on loan either, having had to flee Merseyside last summer, no doubt for fear of getting a brick put through his window. To be honest, he's probably in more danger out in Turkey considering his terrible performances. He's currently dropped, being criticised by the club's hierarchy, and is currently suing the club for four months unpaid wages. What a horrendous time he's having, compounded by the fact that he no doubt wakes up in the dead of night with visions of carrying Benzema sticking a knife through his career. Man City, Patrick Roberts. For once, the answer to this question is not Joe Hart, who seems to have been flopping out alone since the dawn of time. To be fair, Roberts Roberts is at Girona and trying to adjust to a new country, but he's 22 now, he's not a kid anymore and the winger hasn't scored any goals in 14 appearances for the club. I'm not writing him off or anything, but City directors will probably have wanted more. Man United, Timothy Fossumensa. If this was supposed to be an audition to prove to Manchester United that he has a future at the top level, Timothy Fossumensa has essentially forgotten his lines and threw up in the director's face. Spending the season alone at Fulham, he has contributed to one of the most embarrassing Premier League defences to ever exist. Newcastle, Rolando Ahrens. There was once a time when Rolando Ahrens was the most exciting thing in the Newcastle squad after torturing Man City's defence five years ago. He's now 23 and has just turned in two unproductive loan spells at both Slova and Liberace and Sheffield Wednesday. What 
what has happened to that poor boy? Southampton, Sam McQueen. To be fair, left winger Sam McQueen is having a nightmare season, but through no fault of his own. He signed alone for Middlesbrough last summer, played five times, and has now ruptured his ACL. So that is the end of that chapter. Tottenham, Kaz Sterling. To be fair, Kaz Sterling hasn't been dreadful at Sunderland, but the 20 year old Tottenham loanee hasn't exactly set the place on fire either, with just one goal and six appearances. Watford, Jerome Sinclair. Okay, look, I don't care that Jerome Sinclair is actually having an alright season. He's at Oxford. Oxford. This was a lad who once had a bright future at Liverpool only about 10 minutes ago. How is the forward now being chucked out to Oxford in League One at the age of 22? The only way Oxford should be a good progression for a youngster is if they're studying a goddamn law degree. Come on, sort it out your own. West Ham, Jordan Hugo. Tony Pulis must be tearing his eyeballs out at whoever convinced him to dive into the loan market, honest to God. Jordan Hugo is a journeyman workhorse centre forward that finds scoring goals hard enough to do in the Championship, so what possessed West Ham to ever buy him, I have no idea. Christ above, the directors must be down the piss when they come up with that one. He's currently on loan Middlesbrough and has 6 league goals in 31 games. Again, this is a striker. Wolves, Benicafobi. Okay, so Benicafobi has since signed for Stoke permanently, but he did spend the first 6 months of the season on loan at the club. He hasn't been great, 9 goals in 45 games as the club languished in mid-table, but to be fair, the man was probably dragged kicking and screaming to Stoke. For Christ's sake, Wolves had just paid 10 million pounds for him. Literally 20 minutes before deciding to chuck him out the door to the first bidder. The man was probably dreaming of the Premier League, returning to his former club and yet, before the ink was even dry on that Wolves contract, he was being told to leave for Stoke. I feel for that guy, I really do. 